hi, I'm Teresa Young, Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to your Making Moves Motivation. Helping you to truly have the fullness of love, life, and relationships of all kinds that you desire and deserve. For today's motivation, I would like you to think about how do you rate your self-esteem? What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is the opinions and beliefs we hold about ourselves. It's how we value ourselves and see ourselves. And I think it's fair to say that we have, at some point in our life, experienced a lack of confidence or question how much we believe in ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, and even if we are good enough. And this all can be considered as low self-esteem. It's when low self-esteem is persistent and long-lasting that it can become a problem and have serious implications on our mental health and also our life and our relationships. It can also lead us to creating unhealthy habits such as smoking and drinking alcohol in order to cope with low self-esteem. So, in this video, I'll be sharing three simple ways to overcome low self-esteem. Your beliefs influence your actions. Therefore, if you don't feel good about who you are or what you do, you will have less motivation to do what it takes to build your self-esteem. And this can become a vicious cycle. So what causes low self-esteem? Well, it differs for everybody. And it can happen suddenly, or low self-esteem might be something that you've had for a while. MIND, which is a mental health charity based in England and Wales, explains that stressful and difficult life experience are often factors for causing low self-esteem. And these factors can be being bullied or abused, experiencing prejudice, discrimination or stigma, losing your job or difficulty finding employment, problems at work or while studying, ongoing stress, physical health problems, mental health problems, relationship problems, separation or divorce, worries about your appearance and body image, and even problems with money or housing. What are the signs of low self-esteem? Well, perhaps you don't like and value yourself as a person, aren't able to make decisions and assert yourself, don't recognise your strengths and positives, feel unable to try new or difficult things, don't show kindness towards yourself, can't move past mistakes without blaming yourself unfairly, don't take the time you need for yourself, don't believe you matter or are good enough, don't believe you deserve happiness, hide yourself away from social situations, stop trying new things, avoid things you find challenging. Whatever has affected your self-esteem, it's important to know that you have the right to feel good about who you are and you can start moving in a more positive direction. And it's a process, and it might feel like it's going to be a difficult thing to do, or you might not even know where to start. So here are three simple ways to overcome low self-esteem. However, before I continue, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, then remember to do so and turn your notifications on by clicking that bell so you don't miss out on more life transforming content to live your best life. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Now let's get back to today's topic. Number one, recognize the good things. When you have low self-esteem, it may feel like a struggle or a little strange or uncomfortable to identify your successes and the good things about you. But they do exist. Making a list of your accomplishments and the positive aspects of you is a powerful way to boost your self-esteem because it's a great reminder of everything that you have done and of who you truly are. And my Making Moves Motivation video on three morning habits to start your day off right delves more into the power of this. And I'll drop a link in the description section or comment section below. Number two is to build positive relationships. You may find that there are certain people who tend to bring you down. And being around them leaves you feeling worse, discouraged or even negative about life. Ensuring that you are surrounding yourself with people who value you and have a positive influence on your behaviours, on your attitude and your feelings is a great way to improve your self-esteem. 
In my Making Moves Motivation video on how to be people smart, I talk about the four types of people to be aware of and three steps to be people smart. And I'll drop a link to this in the comment section or description section below. Number three is to start trusting yourself. If you have low self-esteem, you might have lost trust in yourself. And this can happen for many reasons. It can happen if you don't achieve your goals and reach your goals. It can happen if you make mistakes. It can happen if somebody is constantly or severely criticizing you. It can happen if you feel rejected or unappreciated or not acknowledged. And my Making Moves Motivation video on five ways to trust yourself can help you to raise your self-esteem. And I will drop a link to this in the comment section or description section below. So there you have it. Three simple ways to overcome low self-esteem are one, recognize the good things, two, build positive relationships, and three, start trusting yourself. This is not an overnight process. Building self-esteem takes time and it requires you to go gently on yourself. See if there's something you can do for yourself daily so that you can create a habit of being kind to yourself and taking care of yourself. Because you deserve to feel good and you deserve happiness. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. How do you rate your self-esteem? Do you recognize any of the signs of low self-esteem in yourself or in another person. Let's talk about this. Drop a comment below. Again, I'm Teresha Young, your Relationship Master Coach, and I'm here to help us to connect, evolve, and rise together so that you are truly able to have the fullness of love, life, and relationships of all kinds that you desire and deserve. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.